Boom, hey internet. Did you guys know that Supercolor offers a whole range of metallic colors that you could use on your transfers for your designs. I was actually watching a video from Big Brando where he was using this for a client and it got me intrigued. First things first, we need a design that uses the metallic colors. I have had one in mind. So if you don't know, I launched late in 2022, my own clothing company called Non Beta. And one of the meanings of the word of Non Beta is this is not a test and so Part of that really makes me think about vintage and retro. The way the letters are and how I put them together to be one word reminded me of something that was both sleek and modern and vintage at the same time. And so one of the taglines I always use is that non-beta is a media and garment supply company. So what I mean by that is every company that starts Nowadays, whether you're a fashion company or not, you've also become a media company. So I'm talking about basically putting out content, right? And so the idea for this graphic really quickly is that just kind of harkening back to kind of a retro and vintage time, actually things that I grew up to, right? High school for me was in the 90s. And so I've been able to transition and really benefit from seeing things that are very analog and then converting to digital in a sense. So that was the whole theme behind this. I got a bunch of images of very classic audio visual items and I kind of collage them together with different font play and a message on the bottom of this graphic. So for the gold on this design, I didn't want it to be a main focal point of it. Like something very cliche might be doing like a gold chain, but if you're gonna do a graphic like that, obviously this lends itself towards that. That's a very good use of that. But for this design, I want it to be a little bit more subtle. I wanted touches of design to have a classic gold. Now, something different about using the metallics with super color is you really have to call out the colors that are using the special process. So I had to actually take the ASC file and bring it in to Adobe Illustrator while I finished and finalized the design. Now metallics is obviously a special process. So super color gave me a metallic swatch reference sheet and an ASC file so I can go ahead and drop the actual swatches that they have made into Adobe Illustrator. So I can click on the swatches just like any other palette and use them very specifically for my design. They also threw in the same version of that for Photoshop. After that, just like any other super color design, I brought it onto their template and I finished it, I saved it as a PDF high quality. Now, one thing I did also need to mention is you wanna call out in the notes which metallic swatches you're actually using in the design. So in the notation part of uploading your artwork and specifying what that job is, you wanna make sure you enter those in the right spaces before you create the job. And last part of the process of ordering the transfer, there's actually direct directions and specifying that we're using the metallics that Supercolor needs you to note in specifically the job description and in the comments, also in the colors. So there's a guide that's available to walk you through this last part just to make sure they get the order correct using these special colors. After two days of speedy work from Supercolor, they sent it back to me and I got the transfers here. All we need to do is press them up on my HPN 16 by 20 and the end result was amazing. And I'm honestly shocked at the quality of the end result. It's definitely not like gold foil at all, but the sheen and the quality that you can see from the design is definitely outstanding. If you have a brand or merch or a client you can use this on, I highly suggest you try it. Click on supercolor.com for more. If you had a question on this or anything for your brand, you can leave the question all down below or you can text me here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.